print out designs. Glue. Drill holes using layout. All right, all the holes are drilled. I'm using a jigsaw to cut this out. First part cut out. I was stupid though. I should have cut this out when it was all part of the sheet, make it easier to hold. So I still have to drill these corners and then cut out the center here. But for the next ones, I'll cut out all the pieces. Quick check. Stepper motor fits perfectly. So this is the second big piece. Now to allow things to line up, because it's handmade, um, I drill much bigger holes. So here for the stepper motor, I have five millimeter holes for these M3 screws. So it allows me to be off. So this is the biggest and most complex piece, but with the template, it's very easy to cut out and drill the holes. This is where the stepper motor goes right here. Here I have outlines for the bearings. So I'm gonna just drill holes beside them and put zip ties and then glue them into position with hot glue. And then here we have the uh, rail holders. All the plywood parts are now cut out. I just have to uh, yeah, cut out the other pieces here, these 18 by 44, and then I can start assembling. And to cut out these boards, it's really straightforward. So I just have all the lengths I need. So I just mark them and cut them out. I'm still using a jigsaw, works pretty well. So all the parts are cut out and it's time for assembly now. Assemble the base. I like hot gluing it first and then screwing it together. Now I glue the bottom frame onto the bottom plate. So I just use these little beads of hot glue so they're very easy to cut if you need to. And I also put some screws from this side to hold it together. I put the motor in place to double check that I have enough space. And the whole design is that the motor has a little bit of clearance to the bottom so it's nicely tucked into the frame at the bottom. Now I'm installing these rod holders. There's a lot of space here so it's very easy to tighten the bolts and everything in the ends. Install rods. I drilled some pilot holes and I'm screwing the space board into these pieces. Now I'm zip tying these linear bearings onto this piece of plywood and then afterwards I'm going to use hot glue to fix the position once I put it on the rail to make sure it runs properly. So now the Y build plate is complete. I screwed on the X axis and now I'm attaching these rail holders again. I have two axes that are sliding. So now I'm going to do the last, the Z-axis, which is going to go down here. I'm installing the Z-axis motor so I can check the alignment of the belts here and make sure that I install the fin here at the right spot. So here the Z-axis is done. I'm going to slide it on here and that's do the last axis. So once the axis is in the right position and there's a zip tie on it, then I add a big glob of glue on both sides and that really fixes the position of the bear. So here I have the 3D printer on its side and again, I just filled this area with hot glue, so I just keep putting it in different angles and putting glue on the bearings so that they set properly. So now I'm attaching the belt for each axis, and I'm going to fix it onto this piece of wood here that I've attached. So there in the foreground is my second DIY 3D printer in the back. Is the first one. They're actually the same printing size. You can see how much bigger the metal one is in the back there. So here is some of the improvements. So I just kind of threw everything together and started printing. I didn't check the bed level or anything. It seems to be working really well. I'm quite surprised. So yeah, it's a nice compact wood 3D printer. Extremely easy to build. Um, all the holes are over over drilled so that there's a lot of space for adjustment. So here I can adjust all the axes, put some shims in to make it more accurate, but it's very difficult to screw.
my first part on this wood 3D printer. Looks pretty good. There's some adjustments I need to do and then it should be ready. So the last step is really to clean up all this wiring. I'm going to add a screen here so I can use the SD card reader as well so I don't need an extra computer. But yeah, essentially everything works. Now it's just getting all the wires routed and make everything nice. Make sure it's nice and compact and neat and then it's done.